Hi, I'm Lynn Ranta, and I'm a pediatrician at Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. I'm here today to talk a little bit about the influenza vaccine. We recently posted some information on our Facebook page, and we have some interesting questions and concerns that I'd like to address. Rihanna said, I would never get or give my kids this mercury-filled, pointless injection. It is not safe or effective. The question really is, is mercury in a flu vaccine safe? Most flu vaccines do not contain any mercury or thimerosal, but the multi-dose vials do contain a tiny amount of the mercury-containing thimerosal, which is used to protect the vaccine from contamination. We know from very many well-done studies that these tiny amounts of mercury that are contained in thimerosal do not cause any type of medical issues such as neurodevelopmental problems such as autism. Jean said only one of the flu vaccines has been tested in kids under two. None of them indicate that they are safe for pregnant women. The flu vaccines have been well tested in pregnant women and children as young as six to nine months of age. We know the flu vaccine is not effective in children under six months, but it is very effective and very safe in children over six months. Pregnant women have a particularly high risk of complications from influenza. Millions of doses have been given to pregnant women. It has been safe. There's been a very low reported rate of any type of minor side effects. But those are good questions, and I encourage you to read and get good answers. Jamie said, every year we get the shot, we get the flu, and it was horrible. Don't try and tell me we didn't or that it was just a small side effect not the flu. We were throwing up and had fever for days. The years I did not let them get it, the kids did not get sick. Can you get the flu from the flu vaccine? And the answer is no. I think we need to remember when we're talking about influenza, influenza isn't vomiting and diarrhea, which we refer to as the stomach flu. Influenza is a respiratory illness with high fever, aches, pains, headache, and severe fatigue. You may have some upset stomach, but predominantly it's cough with secondary pneumonias or bronchitis. The flu vaccine will not give you the flu. Certainly, like all vaccines, you may have some mild reactions such as soreness at the site of the injection or mild congestion if you get the nasal spray. Michelle said, the CDC is a government website, they lie. I trust the CDC as a parent when my kids were younger and I wanted to go to a source where I felt I was going to get unbiased, well-reviewed information. So I use the CDC's parent site. I also use the CDC professional site. Um, I think that their studies are very well done, well-researched. Um, they go to a variety of outside sources to get their detailed information and to make their recommendations. Other good sites to look at besides the CDC would be the American Academy of Pediatrics website, which is particularly geared for families with young children. I'm really glad people ask questions. It's important to get your concerns addressed. Um, as a pediatrician, I recommend the influenza vaccine for virtually anybody over six months of age. If you haven't had an opportunity to get your flu vaccine yet, please get it now. Thank you.